This video shows how to fabricate an adapter plate that lets you bolt on a Sandin TRS-090 style AC compressor. This compressor came stock on 97-01 CRVs, 96-2000 Civics, and I think some Integras. It's far more common than the Prelude compressors, and you can get brand new ones off Rock Auto for about half of what you can get a Prelude rebuilt one for. This video just shows how to make the adapter. In the second video, I'll show how to adapt the AC lines and change the wiring. Check the description for a link to the PDF file that has instructions and a template that is used in this video. This adapter only works with the 8889 style AC and alternator bracket, shown here on the left. This bracket will bolt onto all the engines from the 9091 Preludes. If you're not sure which one you have, that one on the right is from a 9091 Prelude. You need some quarter inch plate, at least 7 inch by 7 inch, a few inches of 7 eighths outer diameter 0.156 wall tube, 4 8 mm nuts and bolts, and 4 compressor bolts from a CRV. You could also take the 9091 style compressor bolts and cut them down to 95 mm and those would work as well. The last page of the PDF has part numbers for all this stuff. Print page 2 from the PDF at 100% scale. Once it's printed, it's important you check the scale in the middle against an accurate ruler. Check both directions and it should be dead on. If it's not printing at 1 to 1 scale, you may have to change the settings for your printer or the settings in Acrobat. Once you're sure the scale is correct, cut out the template along the outer edge. Tape the template onto the plate with a few pieces of tape. Center punch all the holes and be as accurate as you can. Finally, trace around the outer edge of the template. Now cut out the plate using whatever tools you have available. Use a tiny drill bit to drill a pilot hole in all the holes you center punched before. Now check page 3 of the PDF to see what to drill all the holes to. Be careful not to get them mixed up. Trace new lines around the half inch holes in the center just like this. Now cut out the center. In the end, your plate should look like this and match the template pretty close. Four of the holes listed on page 3 need to be tapped to M8 1.25. Do those now and try to make sure they're straight. Cut out four spacers that are 5 16th inch or 8 millimeter long.
screw the 8mm bolts into the plate from the rear. Flip it over then set the spacers on the plate around the studs, then thread the nuts on with the hex facing down into the tube. Make sure there's room for this bolt head next to the spacer. If not, grind the spacer a little bit. Now add four tiny tacks to each spacer and remove the bolts. If you only have access to a MIG welder, welding these nuts to the spacers may be kind of hard, so another way to do it would be just to take some solid 7-8 bar stock, drill out the center, tap it to M8125, then you can do the same procedure but you don't have to put tacks around the bottom of it. Once the spacers are tacked on, do a test fit of the compressor. If everything's aligned correctly, the bolts should thread on easily, and the tops of the spacer should sit flush against the bottom of the compressor. Adjust the spacers as needed. Check here for pulley clearance, grind the plate as needed. Remove the adapter and add some more tacks to the spacers. Do a final test fit on an engine to check the bolt lengths and hole spacing. If everything's good, you can do the final welding on the spacers. Make sure not to add any weld next to that one tight bolt head. It's probably not required, but I added some tabs to the plate and made an aluminum heat shield. The compressor clutch grounds through the compressor body, so after you paint the adapter plate, you'll want to scrape off some of the paint where the compressor mounts so it gets a good ground. Here it is mounted in the car. Part 2 will go into making the AC lines and adjusting the wiring.